Hey everybody, Kevin Kelf with Chromaline. From some of my other videos, you know that Chromaline manufactures a vast variety of emulsions for all different industries, all different applications, all different processes. So today, I'm going to go through some of our most popular textile emulsions, the differences between them and why you might choose that for your particular process. Um, as you know from some of my other videos, we have diazo-based emulsions, dual cure emulsions, and pure photopolymers. Um, you, you know that some emulsions are better for water-based printing and some emulsions are better for solvent-based printing. So I'm just going to dive right into it. Um, let's we'll start with CP Tex. CP Tex is a straight diazo emulsion. It's 42% solids. It's very durable, and it's my favorite emulsion for water base and discharge printing. I've got customers that have used this and have successfully run the same set of screens, 50,000, 75,000 impressions with water based printing. Obviously, that goes back to proper exposure times, proper stencil build, but with the 42% solids in CP Tex, you get a pretty good build fairly easily. A one-in-one -one coat is going to give you a pretty good build. Um, so you're going to have a really good EOM gasket with just a one-in-one -one coating. But CP Tex, straight diazo, excellent for water base and discharge printing. Next, I'm going to jump into one of our dual care emulsions. So UDC HV is our most popular textile dual cure. It's very user friendly. If you're working in an environment that isn't extremely light safe, um, if you're working in an environment that, you know, there's some white light that creeps in from time to time, or you have to coat in one area where there is some white light, um, this is a very good product because it's slower exposing, which makes it very, very forgiving. It also has a very wide window of exposure latitude. So once again, a very forgiving emulsion. Uh, UDC HV has 35% solids. So typically I would coat UDC HV two and two or two and one to get the proper EOM. And once again, there's quite a few variables that are included in there. That's just a good starting point when I talk about one and one versus two and one, two and two, um, that's just a starting point. Really, you should measure your stencil thickness so you understand how thick you're coating when you're coating one and one, because some people use more pressure, some people have a, a sharper, rounder radius on their coating trough, but it's just a good starting point. So once again, UCHV, very user-friendly, very forgiving. As a dual cure, this is gonna work very well with pretty much all ink types that are out there. It's not extremely water resistant, but it will still work with some water-based inks, but it's great for UV, solvent, plastisol, and then some water-based as well. So it's a very universal forgiving product. Just like the diazo emulsion, dual cures need to add the diazo, mix it in. So once you would mix that, you've got four to six weeks to use that product. From there, I'll jump into our pure photopolymers. So Chroma Blue is by far Chroma Heinz's most popular emulsion. We've had it out for many years. It's a pure photopolymer, very high in solids, 50% solids. So that's pretty much as high as you can get and really be able to coat that screen properly. Um, it's very fast exposing. So with being very fast exposing, you have a, a narrow window for exposure latitude. So you really have to nail down your exposure times very specifically. Chroma Blue is designed for plastisol inks only. So if you're going to use this with water base or discharge, expect it to break down because it's just not designed for that particular process. 
Um, but like I said, it is our most popular emulsion by far worldwide. Uh, you can build up a screen very easily with this particular product. Just one in one on all mesh counts and you're gonna have a very, very good thick stencil build. From here, I'll talk about chroma lime. So chroma lime is one of our newer products. It's designed off the back of chroma blue. Um, it's slightly lower in solids. So if you coat one in one with chroma blue versus one in one with chroma lime, you will have a slightly thinner stencil with chroma lime. However, it's not much, so you're not going to see a huge difference between the two. Uh, chroma lime is only designed for plastisol inks, again, just like chroma blue. But one nice thing about the chroma lime, especially this time of year, is it's very humidity resistant. Um, so a lot of times during humid seasons, when you go to expose your screen, Sometimes your film positive will almost laminate to your screen and stick right in there. And usually that's because of the humidity that's present. What that really means is there's still some water left in your screen or in the ink from your film positive. That's what's going to create that lamination process. So if you've got film sticking to your screens because of humidity, you won't have that issue with chroma lime. Um, we've, we've tested chroma lime in a, a humidity chamber almost 100% humidity, very, very high percent humidity, where it was uh, probably low 90s, mid 90s. Um, and we went to exposed screens and the film came right off. Whereas with uh, a lot of other pure photopolymers that are out there, in that humid environment, you would have the issue where films are sticking to it. But with the chroma lime, you don't have that issue. Uh, it is lime green in color. And it, it because of that color, it's very transparent. So another reason people really like the chroma lime is that when you put your screen down, you're trying to line up your job. You can see through that screen very easily because of that transparency of this product. But once again, um, only used with plastisol links only. The next one that I'll dive into is our Chromatech WR. Once again, this is one of our newer products that's out there in the industry. Um, it's a pure photopolymer. However, this one is designed for water base and discharge. So where Chroma Blue and Chroma Lime don't have that water resistancy, the, the Chromatech WR does have that water resistancy. Uh, it's 46% solid. So once again, high in solids, a one-in-one -one coat is all you need. And it's designed for water base and discharge printing. Um, once again, being a pure photopolymer, I, I, like, I like to touch on this is because you don't have to mix it, it has a two year shelf life. So if you're using CP techs, but you, you know, you, you're not going through a ton of screens within a month, um, you buy a gallon of CP Tex, and at the end of that month, you still have a half a gallon that you have to throw away because it's not working properly anymore. Maybe something like a pure photopolymer, like Chromatech WR, that has a much longer shelf life is a much better selection for your process and your shot. So those are our five most popular emulsions for the textile industry. Um, coming up this next week, Tuesday, I'm going to do another live Q&A session. So make sure you follow me on, uh, on the YouTube channel here and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see some of you guys next Tuesday. Bring your questions. If you've got questions about anything I talked about here today or any of my other videos or anything in general, if you've got issues with screens breaking down, you've got exposure questions, anything like that, bring them to that Q&A next Tuesday, and I'll be happy to address them. Thanks, guys.